looking at an animation like this, you're probably not thinking, how did they create this model from scratch? How did they do the lighting? Or how did I make the gun so realistic? But I'm pretty sure you're thinking, how did they make this model spin? Well, this is a tutorial about that. Time to be animations. Let's create one. So guys, let's get to it. So now we have our model here. And now we we'll just want to add an empty. So you hit shift A and go to your empty. So I like to use plain axis, but you could use either a cube or any other you find interesting. So we'll just add the plain axis. So we'll go to our front orthographic view and just try to align the empty to the center of your model. So now that we have that, yeah, it's perfectly aligned. So now we want to parent the every part of the model to the empty so that every part of the model becomes a child of the empty and the empty being the parent. So we we'll have to select every single part of the model and make sure that you don't have anything hidden at all. So you select the empty last. So that's why it has this orange compared to the different color compared to the others. So now you hit Ctrl P and you click on Keep Transform. So now that you do that, you can select just the empty and now you move. Now just check and see that it follows the empty wherever it goes. So now you would align your camera to where you want your camera to be facing, where you want, how you want your the angles of your renders to be. So yeah, I've already set my up. So the front view. I'm just aligning to be right there in the center. So right now I just want I want a bit of tilt and just hit arrow and X, give it some rotation, and arrow and Z for some little rotation on the Z axis. So now this is where the fun part happened. So now you have to set keyframes for each of them on your timeline tab here at this bottom corner. So now you would hit I to insert a keyframe, then you click on location and rotation. So right now you can see that I've set my the end keyframe to 150. You can set it to whatever you like. If you want the your rotation to be shorter, you could set it to maybe 60, that's just two seconds. If you use 30 frames per second or 90, if you want it to be longer, you could use 300, but I just like 150 and like it just gives me the perfect feel for it. So now we press putting our timeline at 150. So you put hit arrow, A, Z and 360 and you click, you, you left click. So you hit I and location and rotation. So now we'll just want to just play it and watch it happen. So yeah, this is it. But now you notice something. It slows down at the beginning and catches up and it slows down later. So we don't want that, except that's what the look you're going for. But for a looping animation, you would want everything to be consistent. So selecting all keyframes with A and hitting T and you click, select the keyframe interpolation from Bezier to linear because by default, it's set at linear. So you select linear and you see that it just has this uniform motion throughout. So this is how you do the turntable animation. You're welcome. See you in the next video. Peace.